as a believer, don't dare you, don't try to marry a man that is not born again. Because you have welcomed the seed of the serpent into your life. Either he's going to influence your fate and cause you to lose your fate, or you are going to be persecuted. You are going to be pressed or pressed throughout the rest of your life on earth. You will never have peace and joy. You will never enjoy your salvation because that man will hate your fate. He will hate your prayer. He will hate what you stand for. And he will in a subtle way distance himself from you. Because the two spirits don't gel. The two spirits don't connect. One is light, one is darkness. But Paul gave an answer. He said, if an unbelieving husband does not ask you to go, he says, be with him. But if he says go, he says go. In that state, you are not under bondage, meaning you can remarry. But if two persons are believers and they are boxing themselves like Mac Daxon, and you happen to, div uh, to separate or to divorce, the scripture says, do not remarry, period. Period. Any preacher or born again believer, anybody who you knew was married to a believing wife or husband and they separated or divorced, he or she went and remarried. They are living in adultery according to the scriptures. Period. I know it's tough, but that's the truth. What breaks marriage is death. Once a brother has died, the sister is now what? Free to be married. That's what the Bible says. The scripture is tough. It's strong. It's straightforward. There's no mago mago. Somebody say mago mago. If you see me ever remarry, you know my wife is feared with the Holy Ghost. Ah, you see me, I say, God told me, uh, uh, my wife is tough at home. My wife is not doing this. My wife is not doing that. And I begin to convince you that I want to marry somebody else. Take your Bible, eh? run for your life. I command you to leave the church. Run. How can this woman suffer with me? We've suffered, we built everything together. Then one little chicken, chicken. Ah! Huh? You know, this man, they, this man, they, they're always looking for chicken, chicken. You leave the woman that suffered with you, carried your children, the woman you spoiled. Her stomach is not big because of you. You're responsible. You spoiled her. Eh? Take care of her. Invest in her. She will bounce back to that selling, selling. <laughs> Praise God. Don't let your greed destroy you. Because it's your greed that is causing you to go after the small girls. It's your greed. It's greed. Be content with the precious woman God has given you. Amen. Hallelujah, sons of God. Honor your wife. Honor your children. Love her. Give yourself to her. Hallelujah. Love others, of course you can, with the love of God. Not sexual affection, not sexual feelings. No. Your sexual affection is exclusively for your spouse. You don't share such privacy with somebody else. You have to, even if you've met such a mistake, stop it. Repent quickly. Show that your sexual affection is dedicated to your wife. It's, it's, it's private. Amen. Amen. It's, it's exclusively what? Private. It's important. Please, I beg you, love people with the love of God. But love your wife with the other type. Mm.
protect it. It's exclusive. It's your dignity. Protect your marriage. Protect your wife. And God will bless you. In every woman, there is Eve. In every Eve, there is a woman. In every Adam, there is a man. In every man, there is Adam. So, you don't need a man that has 70% of Adam. So watch out. You don't need a woman that has almost 60 to 90% of Eve. Because Eve would deceive you. Eve would listen to the voice of the serpent. Mm. Somebody hear me? Eve is the consequence of the fall of the woman. They are all together in one. Adam is the natural man, the eighty, the eight, the first man from the earth. But the man, the last man, is Jesus. The dominion of Christ in Adam is what you're looking for. As a woman, look for a man, not Adam. Look for a man that Christ has dominated his heart. Look for a man that is complete. Because as a wife, you cannot complete that man. It is Jesus alone that can complete a man. Help the man to stand for Jesus. As a wife, help your husband not to lose his faith. As a woman, help your husband not to lose his faith. As a man, help your wife not to lose her faith. Because you become one chasing after Jesus. Outside from Jesus, both of you will split away. You become one in Christ. So look out for a man that is chasing God. Look out for a man that is chasing after the heart of Jesus. And look out for a woman that is chasing after the heart of Jesus. Both of you will become one in God. The beauty of a woman is her love for Yeshua. The handsomeness of a man, oh God, is his love for Jesus. Oh my goodness. That man is will be warm, will be amazing, will be loving, will be caring, will be, will be, even though he makes a mistake, he comes back to apologize because he has the fear of God. What you're looking for is not the beauty of a man, the handsomeness, the well-built body. No. Those things are rubbish. They're just they're not reliable. Are you hearing me? You need a man that loves Jesus. A man that is focused. A man that can protect you. Hallelujah. New York, USA. Are you ready? The demonstration of the Spirit and Power Conference with the Bond Servant of Christ, John. Dates 23rd through 25th, May 2024. Thursday, 7 p.m., Friday, 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. Venue, Joseph A. Floriano Rochester Convention Center, 123 East Main Street, New York, 14604. Register now for seat reservations. Visit our website, www.spiritrevelationchurch.org. There is no cost charge to receive prayer or to consult the man of God. The conference is free. free. Dimensions of the Spirit. War against the Prince of Darkness in the atmosphere of Sydney, Australia with the bond servant of Christ, John. Venue, Sydney Olympic Park, The Dome, Sydney, Australia. Hall 5 and 6. Date, 8th through 10th, May 2024. Wednesday the 8th, time 5 p.m.
Thursday the 9th, morning 10 a.m., evening 6 p.m. Friday the 10th, morning 10 a.m., evening 6 p.m. Register online to get your free tickets. www.keepthefaithministry.org slash conference. War against the beast of Europe with the bondservant of Christ John. 11th and 12th July 2024. Day 1, 6 p.m. Day 2, morning session, 9 a.m. Strictly for ministers. Evening session, 6 p.m. Open for everyone. Venue, PWA Silverdome, Van der Hagenstraat. 2722 NT Zotermeer, Netherlands. Register now for seat reservations. Visit our website, www.spiritrevelationchurch.org. The Tribe of Fire presents International Ministers Conference with the Bondservant of Christ John. Dates, 27th through to the 29th, August 2024. Session times, day one, 6 p.m. Day two, morning session, 9 a.m. Evening session, 6 p.m. Day three, Morning session, 9 a.m. Evening session, 6 p.m. Register now for seat reservations. Visit our website, www.spiritrevelationchurch.org. Venue, 284, Fortrecker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. See you in the realms.